Hey everybody, it's Vic and Jay. We're still in the hot tub. Double header race weekend, double header hot tub race recap. And this time we're back from MJMP, New Jersey Motorsports Park, and the real hoopties of New Jersey. And let me just say, New Jersey drivers are terrible. They were so bad that on Sunday, I had to get up there and do the real come to Jesus deal. This car's gonna dominate! And I yelled at those guys and I scared the pants off of them. We took the 10 worst defenders from Saturday, parked them in the penalty box for an hour. Everything went great. It was smooth as silk. After an hour, we let those fools back out. Kaboom! It all fell to hell again. So some of you fools, you are not getting in next time. You guys were awful. You guys are going to give you a thousand penalty laughs. What do you think of that? A team brought an incredible Judge Mobile. Not only was it a Judge Mobile, it was their tow vehicle. That was really cool. Cadillac Sedan DeVille, what? A 72, incredible, metallic green. They towed their MR2 race car with it to the track. When they got there, they said, hey, here, Judge Phil and your staff, enjoy this luxury. It was and so they nice. sure did. Oh, it was so nice. Also hella nice, Cheaty Cheaty Bang Bang. I just love the name. Is that the greatest team name of all time? So good, it could be like a ditty or a song or something. That was fabulous. Hella sweet, a team brought a Chris Christie fat suit and made them stand in this fat suit on the bridge to the paddock. You know what Chris Christie calls that? A suit. He calls that a, just a regular Tuesday suit. <laughs> Chris Christie's known for two things, being real fat, shutting down bridges. That's what they did, hella sweet. Uh, the eternal left blinker penalty was a new one that Phil came up with. You come in, you get a, you're given a relay, and you're given two yellow bulbs. Go figure out how to leave your left blinker on for the rest of the race. And I actually saw the first car go out. I was on the radio at the time, and I heard, ah, control three. This is car station three. Uh, there's a car out there with his blinker on. What do I do? Also hella sweet, Speedy Cop likes to use the East Coast venues to unveil his latest and greatest creations or in this case, his latest creation. This time, twin engine Lincoln Continental. A Lincoln engine in the front, a Lincoln engine in the back, all wheel drive, half the speed, twice the problems. <laughs> Here are your winners. The Heroic Fix went to two broke two care in their turbocharged E30. Why? I, my medulla oblongata is parboiled in the hot tub. I do not know. Sorry guys, you're on your own. Too long in the hot tub. <laughs> I got screwed. <laughs> Went to three pedal mafia, long time lemons competitors. They brought three terrible cars. I think there was a Cortina, TR7, and a, and a boat. And a boat. And their weekend went so bad that it was punctuated at the end by crashing the boat. They got screwed. Special regional trophy was the least like a New Jersey driver. This went to team far from women. Now, they did not ignore flags. They did not drive off the track. They did not run into anybody else. And when there was a whole cluster F going on in front of them, they backed off and they did not get involved. And you know what happens then? They won class B going away. Let that be a lesson to you, Bruce Springsteen. Judge's choice for this race went to some dudes in a mare core. And let me tell you something. Oh, good heavens. Judge's choice went to the Mare Corps, the redemption story. This car's always been awful. They have previously driven like New Jersey drivers. This time they did not. Judges recognized that, gave them the trophy. The organizer's choice, this was one of those where the guy could have been IOE, he was really close. This was a bright orange Volkswagen Super Beetle. And the Super Beetle, if you are not up on your Volkswagen history, is distinguished from the regular Beetle by being super crappy, as opposed to the regular Beetle, which is only slightly crappy, hence the term Super Beetle. And what I really liked about this and why these guys needed a trophy, it gave Phil and Johan Samanta like five hours of conversation sitting around in the paddock. Oh, you know, oh, they put McPherson struts on there. Oh, did they? That was a terrible idea, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, dude, it was terrible. That just went on all day Saturday. I had to give those guys a trophy. Which just brings us to the index of effluency. Super Grover, Rover 3500. Now, this is the first Rover to ever race in Lemons. I am a Rover owner, and let me tell you, if you want to have a car that sits and does not move under its own power for 37 years, the Rover is the car for you. And these guys not only did it run, but it beat all kinds of cars it shouldn't have with a stuffed Grover on the roof, slam dunk, index of effluency. Yeah, and no power steering in that car, automatic transmission, no power brakes, fabulous car. All right, here's Lemons in a Nutshell. Chitty bang, bang, chitty bang.
Come on, sing it. Judge Phil just loved these guys. It was a redemption story. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs>